Blame it on the goose. Got you feeling loose. loose. Blame it on the drum. Got you in the zone. Blame it on the alcohol. Blame it on the Magic 101.3 plays the non-stop pop and R&B. Your midday mama Cita, Alexandra Marie, ready to hold down the final hour of magic in your midday. But the moment you've been waiting for is finally here. Your boy Jamie Foxx is in the building. Jamie, what's good? Mama <laughs> so good to meet <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> well, uh, welcome, welcome. Okay, great, great. Oh, of course. Like, how am I going to be the midday mama Cita and not you speak Spanish? I, I interviewed with this lady one time, and she was like, you know, I, she, I thought she was Spanish, and she was talking, you know, since she's Puerto Rican, and then I started speaking Spanish. She had no idea. <laughs> Wow. No, no, no. I, I am really the mamacita. Oh, there. I got to say that. Puerto Rican and Cuban. Puerto Rican and Cuban. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Tell you about this girl I know. <laughs> Since that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a song Puerto Rican. Well, I would love that. <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Midday Magic Show. We're so happy to have you. I'm happy to be here. Jamie Fox in the house like furniture down like gravity. Midday <laughs> Mama Cita. Puerto Rico. Oh. <laughs> well, now you are very, very busy these days. Intuition is already in stores. Listen, let me get focused. Okay. First of all, post Happy Easter, I'm still. I'm, st- <laughs> I'm on the West Coast, so I'm already up. I'm still. Uh, high off of my chocolate bunnies I was eating early. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so my insulin is right. Okay. But uh, uh, I- I'm so happy and I got to thank you because without radio, and I'm part of the radio family, yes. music really has no way to go. And Blame It is, is a, is a, is a, was a club hit, but without the radio, it wouldn't be what it was. So thank you for that. Oh, you are so very welcome because you already know people are going to be blaming it on the alcohol until... 2015. Is that like the song though to really like get it in? That is really the song. I mean, I talked to my homies. I said like, yo, man, you ever been with that girl? You thought she was hella girl? You know, <laughs> Blame me on the alcohol. Then I talked to my girlfriend. I, ladies, you ever go like this? I usually don't do that. <laughs> I cannot believe I did this. <laughs> I'm a <teacher. laughs> Intuition, definitely killing them. Just like me, everyone loves it. Blame it. Everyone's still loving it. She got her own. It's still the ladies' anthem. I love her cause she got her own. <laughs> she don't need my sister, leave mine alone. There ain't nothing that's more sexy than my mama <laughs> So, are we going to see anything else from Intuition? Most definitely. We're going to do I Don't Need It, which is a timbal and record, which really takes you to church. We did it on Tyra Banks. They loved it. Also, we got Digital Girl. And when we do Digital Girl, I'm giving you the exclusive. We are going to be searching for our Digital Girl. Wow. And let's make this clear. We're not just looking for the most beautiful girl or the most sexy girl. We're looking for just those women that have confidence. I don't care if you're 100 pounds, 200 pounds. I don't care if you're light, dark, whatever it is. We just want you to have that confidence. Wow, I'm excited. This is girl, that's Kanye West and my man, The Dream. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Then when we slow it down, there's plenty. There's slow, there's overdose, there's freaking me. Yes. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, with my own. Oh, I see. <laughs> no. Let me get focused. Oh, my <laughs> I just felt the connection right there. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I felt it. <laughs> let, me, let me make people understand how very talented all these people are. But Marsha Ambrosia from Floor Tree is... Stella. Yes. Like beyond, like beyond belief is what, is what she could do as far as an artist is concerned. And she definitely put it down on that record. Oh you did too. So. And she wrote the whole record. She did? Yeah, she, that was all her. Okay. I was like, I was like humble and <laughs> trying to get it right. She was like, uh, let's go back and get that. Are you right? I'm a fan. Well, it, it was definitely a hot one. Good. So third studio album, what are the differences from uh, Intuition and Unpredictable? Uh, Unpredictable, I think... There was a situation, let me get focused okay. on the chocolate buns. What was going on <laughs> was that me and my man, Breon Prescott, right in the middle of making Unpredictable, we parted ways. I got back with Breon Prescott, and he did my whole album this time. Okay. And so basically, Breon takes my ego and throws it out of the window. <laughs> Whenever I want to do a song, and I'm like, I need to do this song, he says, that's not hot. And I said, it's real music. <laughs> and he said, if you want to do your record like that, then do it. That's what he tells me. You do your record like that, and it's going to end up in that bin at the grocery store <laughs> with the with the n- n- 
nail clippers and the <laughs> and the flip flops. Okay. <laughs> and so I said, you know what, man, I'm gonna let you do it. And he did it, and man, and it turned out stellar. And I think that is really the difference because he really knows the music, and I think I know how to execute it. Well, Jamie Foxx hanging out, showing some love during the Midday Magic Show. We're going to check back in with him in just a little bit. So keep it locked right here to Magic 1.3, blazing a spring break with nonstop hip-hop and R&B.